Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. And I have been doing a little bit of work uh, getting up biomass and all that stuff for these generators, and as you can see, they're starting to go through it pretty quick. So, uh, things have been going pretty good. We have all the resources we need up there right now. I gotta go up there and grab everything if I have the inventory space, which I might. Uh, as you can see, I got some miners here. Let's actually just place these down just to get them out of the way. But I want to get these two going too at the same time. Now, I'm hoping uh, we can fire this one down the gutter this way. Like so. Let's put this one in first. So at least we can see what we're dealing with here. So we can do that. And then this one can go just like so. And this way we can get more plates. And uh, one of them is actually going to go into do two constructors. One's going to be plates no one's gonna be plates and then one's gonna be going through two constructors become screws so at least we have stuff upstairs so it's gonna be the same old thing uh, I do have to make uh, some reinforced plates I can't remember what the smelters needed rods and wire I actually have that uh, what we'll do though is we'll actually run upstairs we'll get our supplies and we'll upgrade uh, get our biofuel so we can use the old chainsaw and get chopped down some of these trees and shrubs that we can't pick by hands so then get more fuel so we can burn more stuff to so we can make more stuff so we can burn more fuel and uh, then everything's like oh yeah we gotta need 150 of these we've got two stacks of those we need two stacks of these yes this is where you'd think things get easier but no it, it's it's not because what you're seeing here is just a drop in the bucket of what we need in the big picture. Now, I was talking about the productivity display, and this is what it is. It tells you that it's running at 100% efficiency, which means it has more copper coming in than what it actually needs. Uh, it tells you how much it needs per minute, how much input to, to, to maintain this efficiency, and how much wire it produces per minute. Now, the power slugs, we actually do have to upgrade that in Tier 3, but there'll be an overclock area here where if you overclock at 50%, it'll tell you that it needs 50% more power, uh, time will be cut by 50%, and it needs 50% more resources. So, it's sort of a juggling game, sort of a fine balance, if you will. But, uh, yeah, let's go send this thing off, and do that, and do that, and that. And off we go. Now let's see what's next here. Uh, personal storage will come in handy for... Shut up. We can actually do this when it gets gets back. We'll get more inventory slots, which I think will come in handy. Uh, stairs, yeah, we might... Just to make this easier so I can build stairs at either end of this, this abomination I'm building. So we'll actually select that when it comes. Uh, overclock reduction, yes, this is exactly what I was talking about. Uh, we don't need it yet. Uh, overclocking just needs more power that we need. Uh, I was looking at this too. I might get into this, but maybe we'll see how things go today. So what was I doing? I was going to go get the rest of this stuff into the system. So let me make a few things and get a few things put in place. And by the time I get back, we should be ready to get our next upgrade going. Okay, I'm just finishing up now. Uh, everything should be okay. These are a little out of alignment, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to make sure the containers are in line themselves, because that's all that really matters. Okay, so let me go ahead and connect that to that, and like so. So now we go back downstairs. I do have power everything hooked up, hooked up to these except for the miners. Let's go do that right now. Can I land on the roof? Nailed it. Okay. Power. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see which pole can I pull off of though. No. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I can grab off of here. And... I need more wire, which is all the way back upstairs. So let me go get that, and I'll be back. Okay. Now I got it then. Uh, am I missing one? Yes, I'm missing this one, actually. And there we go. So you have power, I do believe. 
No power? No, 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 what's going on here? Uh, you don't have power. I was going to pull off of you, is what I was going to do, but that works. Okay. You are mining, right? Yes, you are. You are eventually mining. So those are hooked up. So one's going to be for plates, one's going to be for rods. These are both going to be smelted to iron ingots. Uh, where's that ladder? Where's that ladder? Here it is. Up and over and iron on that one. Oh, 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 can't forget that. Conveyors. And, yeah. Alright, and I shall meet those up at the next level. Go up here. Up we go. So this is all connected. So this one here is going to be making plates again. Okay, this one here is going to be first making rods. Which are going to go into here and then go into here because rods need screws. Alright. Other way around, screws need rods. So the iron goes in here, and as soon as it makes its way up, I said, as soon as it makes its way up, as soon as I get faster conveyor belts, no power. Oh, uh, power helps. Yes, power always helps. I have nothing there. Uh, do you have power? No, you don't. Okay, I'll do that, and one there and another one there okay now you both should be smelting right yes now I, for some reason I thought it was trying to snap the conveyor lift but no man is it getting noisy in here irons going up and getting produced in the constructors and we'll just make sure it's going good there I was looking for Alright, place your bets. Is that uh, out of fuel or overloaded system? I'm going to say overloaded system. And we won't know until we get there. Actually, we can find out. Yeah, run out of power. Which is good because we make biofuel now. Which is actually supposed to be more efficient. And gives me a, gives me a, a chance to actually use my chainsaw. Uh... Go in here, we'll make a biofuel. Uh, of course, in the long run, it does get expensive. Uh, wood is the best way to make biomass. You get the, I don't know what it is, you get like 10 biomass for 5 wood, where the, with the leaves it's like the other way around. So it's a little more expensive. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is, since I've got all this fuel on me, I might actually go cut down a few trees. Actually, I should be able to make quite a, few, a bit, quite a bit of biofuel, but I got four generators here to get running. So, uh, yeah, let me cut down some trees, and I'll be back. Okay, I cut down. I cleared out the whole area. I got us uh, some building room. I think I'm gonna put the space elevator on that mound that's over there. But as you can see, it's so nice and clean out there. So pristine. So nice. Uh, it's gonna look different once we get a whole bunch of generators running. But anyways, I have these things filled, so let's go ahead and turn that back on. Let's actually see what we're doing here. So, yeah, we have about 10 to spare, so we're not not desperate at the moment. Fortunately, when stuff like this happens, there's always going to be some sort of backlog in the system, hopefully, to make sure everything gets back up and running. Alright, so next is going to be another tier upgrade, or... Yeah, tier unlock, thingamabobber, doohickey, whatchamacallit. Uh, probably should look at the building space elevator. I think I have enough supplies to do it now. That's not the right part of the hub I'm looking for. So we could do personal storage, just so I can get more inventory slots, which I think I'm going to do. Let's go do that. Uh, i got to run upstairs get some some rods, but let's have a look at the space elevator. Uh, space elevator is doable. i got to check and see what we have for wire out there, but I shall return. Alright, I'm up here now, and so far we're doing good. Second second plate run is coming through. We have screws going through, so that way I don't have to worry about losing them anymore. And let's go see how much wire we have down here. See if we can actually build the space elevator. We can. Good. First, oh, this is going to hurt. Oh. So I always carry my, keep my nuts with me, right? 
shows I'm a real man. Uh, oh, yeah, we're doing this. Alright, so uh, rods, plates, wire, and push the big red button. Alright, more inventory space. Woohoo! Alright, so next is going to be possible with that. Uh, like I said, overclock is not too big of a deal at the moment. There's part assembly. Uh, that's going to be the first thing we need in the space elevator is this. So, we'll probably end up getting into that with these assemblers. We need better power for that. I think we actually have to get that through the space elevator, to be honest. Uh, it's quite possible. Alright, so which one was I going to do here? I was going to... Hmm... do that one. Alright, I think I actually have enough to do this. Oh, one returns. How long have I got? A minute. I think I can handle a minute. Uh, what else were we doing here? Oh yes, I have inventory space. I forgot. Let's go build a space elevator. Haha, uh, I can carry this entire space elevator in my pocket. How about you? That's what I call deep pockets, huh? Sadly, that's not the case. Uh, one day though, I'm a big time YouTube star with 20 million subscribers making more money than I know what to do with. And, and yes, I am dreaming about that. Because that's all it's ever going to be is a dream. But you never know. Alright, uh, what do I need for the space elevator again? Uh, concrete, plates, rods, and wire. Uh, okay, so let's see how many plates I have. I have enough. Uh, grab a stack of rods, and then we gotta go grab some wire, and here comes the thing coming back, and love the animations on that. Alright, and we gotta go grab a couple of stacks of wire, because I need 1,500, and concrete. Oh, this is gonna hurt. We're fine. Uh, I can't remember how much concrete I need. Can we build it? No, we can't. Because I need more rods. I need more inventory space. What can I do here? Okay, that doesn't do anything. I'm going to put those away. I don't need them at the moment. I made them. I thought I was going to grab those ones over there, but we don't actually need them at the moment. Which is fine. I could probably even leave this biomass here. Or this biofuel, because I don't actually need it. Okay, and back upstairs to get rods. And I'll bring it back. I remember now. It was to grab whatever I could to get this next uh, uh, part assembly upgrade so we can get into the assemblers and the modular frames and all the good stuff. I need rods and plates. Take some rods. Take some plates. And take a leap of faith to see if I can make it on the, the, the miner. Oh. I wonder if you could fall in that hole and die. Get ground up coming out in little. Little red chunks. Probably not. Let's see how the fuel situation's doing here. Eh, could be better. But you see what I mean? We're like totally maxed out. We got about five megawatts to spare. Ugh. But I think the first upgrade here gets us coal power. So uh yeah, this side here. No, let's not do conveyor walls. Eh, let's not do conveyor walls, it's two part assembly. Alright, need more rods, need more plates. Okay, I'm uh, just finished up the last of the wire now. As you can see, I got the plates and I have the rods and I have the cables. And in just a few seconds, I will have the wire. Yes, right there. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, two. Oh, wait, there you go. There we go. Yes, 500 wire, 100 cable. And there we go. So now we have assemblers. And assemblers. Uh, out of my way. Yes. Require modular frames, rotors, and cable. Now, we were talking about the reinforced plates. Uh, these ones here. Needing. What was it? 12 iron a piece. Four plates. Four screw. Yeah, 12 iron modular frame 
is three of those. So 36 iron plus another six. So 36 plus six is 42 iron for one modular frame. The heavy modular frame uses five of these. So you can see where it starts to get pricey and why you wanna get as much production going as you can. This is this is early game. This is early game. Like uh, like I said, I want to capture those two over there. There's at least two more on that side of this mound here on the other side where the space elevator is. And as you can see, as we go to do a scan for iron, that was iron, was it not? Because there's, this is a lot of them. It's probably not picking these ones up because I'm so close. But there's three of them on the other side here. There's another one further away. I think there's a couple more over there. So there's plenty, plenty of iron to go. Uh, what we can do while we're here is do nothing because I don't have any fuel. Anyway, now with that, I let me get this out. That dangerous thing out of my hands. You never know what's going to happen. But anyways, uh, yes, we're going to call it here. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.